Hello guys and welcome. Today we are going to discuss about amazing character of Bengal cats. The wonderful character of Bengal cat will positively surprise everyone, so that means you will also be surprised. But they really are a unique and wonderful breed. And you need to understand, it's not only because how they look, it's because of their nature. For all the talk you hear about the amazing beauty of the Bengal cat, you could be forgiven for assuming that the Bengal possess normal domestic cat behavior, just with wonderful marking as well. However, you can ask any Bengal, Bengal owner why they bought their second Bengal, because this is so often happens. And you will find out the real reason why a Bengal cat is such a wonderful addition to many homes. It's that many Bengal cats are delightful characters who light up your life with entertainment, interest and affection. So let me explain. Before we go in too much detail, it's as well to note that all cats' personalities are formed by many factors, including their genetic heritage, their socialization and living condition when growing up, and good old, and good old random individuality. Yes, personality is the key here. As a result, there is always much more variation between individual cat than a given breed. That said, many breeds of cat do have commonly found characteristics which typify the breed. Siamese, Burmese and Persians in particular are all renowned for certain types of behavior. The Bengals' unique genetic heritage and rigorous breeding programs produced many cats with very pronounced personalities and unusual behavior patterns, which are so much a reason to want to own the cat as their visual appearance. And also you need to understand, I would like to note that everything I said in this video is only and my only opinion based on experience owning Bengal cat. At the simplest level, most Bengals own many personalities. I know it sounds weird, but it's true. In a manner similar to the Oriental cat breeds, there are intelligent, lively, interactive cats with whom you have a very genuine two-way relationship. They are very much a dynamic and active part of the family group. Bengals, however, are not the same as Orientals or any other breed, but have various key characteristics which make them very special and different cats. For 40% of the time, at least, Bengals are outstanding athletes. They can rush around with great glee, climb door and cupboard and lead to huge heights. They will bounce about, roll around, switch light on and off. Yes, it's true, switch light on and off. And so many other crazy stuff, but so normal for them. Bengal kittens in particular can be all over the place, running around like they will never stop and it's annoying and also dangerous for them. When excited, they often tremble and twitch their tails or fluff them up in massive raccoon tail looking like question mark. The character displayed during this antics in is exquisite, hyperactive, over the top, but very lovable with the heart of gold. They will wake you up in the night, rubbing their head against you and paddling happily on the covers of their paws, then sleep silently with you until morning. They have ridiculous stretchy moods when they roll and ride around on their back in a most uninhibited manner. This makes a lovely compliment to Bengal as an energetic moment. Well, in truth, they can sound like all sorts of things. Perhaps the most obvious noise they make is a melodic but very instant mewing. Shades of this mewing will mean to open the door or hello again or give me some food, turn the tap on please and particularly loudly let me out of this cage. This noise varies in volume from loud to unbelievable, but it's easily stopped by either giving them what they want or making them realize it won't do they any good. At the other end of the spectrum, Bengal purse are released with all manner of thrills and they have much wider vocabulary including I've just seen something to chase, chatters, and even a lovely frustrating nya, grumble when they can't read something they are jumping for. 
Bengals aren't a specially noisy cat, and I know how it sounds totally opposite from everything I just said. But they don't constantly comment on your life like some Siamese, but they have a worried range of outspoken calls which they use when they feel the need. Some people have assumed that the wild animals are fierce. So many pets with wild blood must be more like to be fierce, and it's true that one of the difference between a domesticated animal and the wild one is its ability to interact happily with humans. That more often than the small wild cats are more likely to be scared of humans than to attack them. However, a Bengal cat is not a wild animal, and that's very important to know. It's most definitely a domestic animal which has been selectively breeded over several generations for character as well as appearance. And Bengals today should not be more aggressive or defensive than any, any other cat. That's why we cannot call them fierce. From my experience, Bengals can be quite easily trained not to do things you don't like, simply by hissing them to say stop. This seems a lot more effective than shouting with no because it's cat language, for stop and show them who is the boss. Any hissing must be of course be balanced by a lot of affection, so they know you still love them, not be angry on them. In summary, Bengals have very engaging, energetic, loving character, and this is one of the main reasons they are wonderful pets. Their character will not make them ideal pets for someone who want a quiet, uh, low-key companion, but make them amazing pets for people who want a more dog-like member of the family. Along the same lines as oriental cats, but with many special features that make them unique and rewarding pets. So that means if you want some Tamagotchi-like animal, you don't want to buy Bengal cat. You want dog in cat shape, so you will buy Bengal cat. One of the most popular pieces of Bengal folklore involves their liking for water. And Bengals have sometimes been reported to play happily in quite deep water and even to like swimming. Well, from my experience, I cannot confirm this. I can confirm that they like water like it's some kind of toy. And that's something you cannot see with any other cat because, you know, cat and water simply don't go together. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you like this video, please I will appreciate if you hit us one subscribe to support our channel and see you again in our next video.